basic um, study education. One of the dilemma of a um, new learner of a uh, tool like this is application of what you've learned. Um, what I mean by that is that when you learn a, a basic tool and um, you don't know how to use that basic tool for another situation that you want to achieve, most of the time, the simple things that you've learned are the ones that are used to create complex situations. So that is one of the secrets of being a professional or an expert I have great experience. Last time, I, I think I identified a flaw in the video that we created because we used crop in the video. And I said that when you use mask to do the same thing, it will give you a better result. A person in the scene or anything, any object in the scene can be highlighted and be removed or brought to another scene and you can blend it very well with mask tool and nobody will notice that the person is not originally there. And, um, and that is in one instance. The same tool can be used for different things in another dimension. I, I don't want us to spend so much time. So um, looking at uh, masking, looking at coma, and uh, if we have uh, the time, then we look at uh, few left and few right in audio. And I would like to make another video for simple color grading. And trust me, when I say simple, I mean simple. And <clears throat> yes, so we will continue from where we stopped the last time and um, we are going to use mask to make this video even better now you can see that uh, there's a video on top of this uh, there's one video here and there's another video on top and um, if I on display the video on top by clicking this and then I am gone now if you look at the sky on this Sky is normal. Uh, if I bring this guy back, if I bring it all back up uh, by using this, then you see the sky is up, uh, and there's a line there which is uh, indicating where we stop cropping. Now, the tool that we are going to use is called mask. It's at the effect control, and um, then we are going to use opacity. We are coming to opacity then we are going to use this tool uh, we call, they call it uh, this is mask you can use um, eclipse you can use a uh, great four point polygon mask then you can use a free draw i always use free draw because um, i don't know you can use any of those so we are working on this video so we have it clicked on and i just want to remove myself here uh, I have to be mindful because the person in the scene is stationary, it's easy. If they are moving around, you might have to animate it or measure how far the person goes in the scene to know how far you will. And, and now when I close the, um, the mask, you can see the sky. Okay, I think you understand what we've done here. Is to isolate me, uh, so I isolate the blue guy from the scene now. If I click outside, you can see that I'm now using the sky from this. And the sky on my own part is almost um, blending. Now, if I zoom in, I want to zoom in with 50, 150%. Uh, then I can hardly see, I can hardly see any line here. The mask works perfectly. Now, the secret behind the mask is because of the feather that it will add to your video. If I click back on the video we are working on, and you will see the mask parameter, this is mask one. Immediately we click on this, we started seeing that, and there is a feather on it. So this feather defaultly is giving up 10. If I take the feather out, and you can see the line here, you can see the line here, I hope you can see the line here it is apparent here but if you give it take it back to 
the six sixteen, then it's off. Uh, you understand what Feather is doing is to make the edge of the video soft enough for you not to notice any uh, sudden change. Now that is masking for you. And now masking has fixed this error of having a line in between the two subjects uh, that we are having. Okay. I have this uh, video here and this is my cousin and because he did not I did not ask him if I can use this video to do this demonstration I have to blow out his face with mask again so what I did here was um, I use adjustment layer and adjustment layer is just um, a kind of a video or an element you can use on your video and everything that is under the adjustment layer, anything you put on adjustment layer is going to reflect on the video that are under. So that is the work of an adjustment layer. So I added an adjustment layer by coming to this part of it. And um, you find the adjustment layer here. So when I added it here, uh, I'm just using it for so that you know what I did here. So. I heard, I came to my opacity and I can just uh, bring in the eclipse. Uh -huh. So it's already there. Uh -huh. So I can shift the eclipse around and I, I place it on the on the head. Come to my effect, then get a blur. And I got this blur, Russian blur, 150, and. Um, and I put it on my adjustment layer. Let me delete this adjustment layer so we we'll have so much here. Uh, you can see the edge of um, my uh, mask there. So if you click back on the mask, you go back to opacity, then you click back on the mask, then you will see the mask um, uh, notes here, and you can adjust them. You say, uh, at one point, they are not making sense to you anymore, and some things are escaping your mask. Then you can just pick them can adjust the mask here. So that is a mask for you. And um, apparently, you should learn from here that um, if you want to blow out a face of somebody in your video, maybe because um, the same situation I'm having, you can just use the mask. It is important to that chroma um, you can see the background is green okay so this background can be red or green um, primary colors now if they are like that then they can create a green for you and a lot of people use more of green that's because people don't come in dressed up in green green is not a popular color for people to wear I'm not even wearing green but the other guy in that video was wearing green. That guy is a bad guy. Now, if the subject is wearing a green and you want to use a chroma, then uh, it's going to be a problem. Because when you remove the green from the background, it's going to remove the person also from the background. The clothes that the person is wearing is going to remove from the background. Because what we are telling the computer now is that the green background, single it out and make it transparent. So the green, the blue, the red works better. Uh, but the green is what is more common and that is why you see more green being used now what else what else what else what else what else what else now if your green is green is good enough it's uh, bright enough then you won't have problem with your chroma you can easily remove your green now the tools we will be using uh, there are two tools that are inside Premiere. You can use Chroma Key or you can use Ultra Key. Now, if, um, Ultra Key is more efficient in doing this. So let's look at that. Uh, I'm going to look for my Ultra Key in the effect. I'm looking for Key. And there are a lot of keys here. I like just pressing the keys so that I will remind myself how many keys we have in Premiere so that um, you know sometimes if you are less busy you try some keys on anytime you see key they do magic as it so now I'm going to drag 
the ultra key on this video here that's the video that has the green background that i want to remove it's not an ad rule what's come first now we need to put a background under so that when we a picture when the green is gone the background that we need to use will be there so i'm gonna get a background so just out of the blues i got this um, background that i designed for um the workers day for Nye university so let's say the man here is talking about the workers day and um, i got a background about workers day and um, now the next thing we are going to do is to remove the background now i've already added my ultra key on the video that has the green that i want to remove so i am going to tap my effect control here and I am going to find ultra key. Now, default the ultra key is having black as the color, as the key color. Now, we need it to be green. So, if I click on this background here by clicking on um, this uh, color picker, uh, if I click on that, it's going to have this color picker icon flying with me. Then I click on the green. And voila, the green is gone. And um, now this background here is uh, big. It's very big. It's bigger than the screen. So let's just make it uh, scale to frame. That is that. And that's the skin even more interesting. Okay. So now um, I think we've gone through chroma. And um, masking, yeah, interesting tools. And um, another thing I want you to look at uh, is uh, so the the sound of this. Now, if you're listening to what he's saying, the uh, the left uh, one of the channels of audio is not balanced. Now, I can actually monitor that on my volume meter here. At this edge, the and I can see that one sound is higher than the other. That means that there is a problem in the other part of uh, the channel. So how do you correct that? Um, if you know uh, Adobe Audition, you can link your audio down to Adobe Audition, then go and correct it there. But uh, you don't have to do that. That's what I used to do before. But I discovered that you can actually feel left. Now, if I press my fill, you are going to see fill left with right or fill right with left. Now, if there is no sound in um, one of these here, yeah, this is, um, I mean, let me play this again. Okay, this channel is what is up and that is the left channel. So, we want to fill what is left with what is on right. So, go for feel right with left so i drag that on my audio okay. and, and the now everything is Make balanced you understand now you can hear him that is very well. perfect human right yes. the problem with this is that if you don't do it that way people that are listening to that clip might not get any sound at all if they are for example they have only one speaker and if they plug that in, it's listening to only the left or only the right. So sometimes things happen and you don't get people to listen to what you've done. So it is very important that you balance up um, the, the two channels, left and right, so that um, it can work for any device. So this video is brought to you by Nye University Mass Communication. Don't forget, if you need to go to school, you need to come to Nye. I don't know about that schools. Bye-bye.